Hello everyone. In this session, we'll be making an application as shown. So user can input an x-axis and then corresponding plot a function dependent on x. So let's get started. So we'll type guide in our MATLAB command prompt. Then a canvas will appear. So we'll require to set an edit box for x-axis values or x-axis arrays. And then changing the tag to x. Let's duplicate this edit box. Now this will be the function which we want to evaluate. And we are assigning a variable x there. And note, here we'll create a space there so that it sustains the paragraph. And similarly, a checkbox, we'll name this as grid. And now comes the axis, where the plots will be appearing. So after saving the function file appears, so as soon as we execute it, it looks like this. So the x-axis we have to set properly. So we'll resize our canvas. So with few trial and errors, you can set it properly. So let's code our program, code our GUI. So in push button function, we'll make some space and here we want to access a variable x and note in the this array to access we have the command get then handles dot x where x is the tag and then we want string. So once this is executed like we'll have to evaluate this array because it's not a number right now. So it's an array. So how will you convince that it's an array? So we'll use that eval statement. So x is available after this statement. Like once we hit push button, x is available in the workspace of the function. So one can easily evaluate the function also that is y or f of x in this case. So we'll evaluate the function with x. So x will be available and then the string will be evaluated. So to plot, we'll initialize our axis. And then we'll pass on the plot command.
all set so let's execute it so it it functions properly as we wanted now we need to code for the grid but before that let's check more variants let's add a sin sinusoidal signal also it functions properly let's code our checkbox so we'll go to checkbox function and here we want to just switch the grid so checkbox radio button and other stuff we need to access the values actually ask for the value so checkbox comma we need to access the values so it will give you the logic 1 or 0 so if we will be comparing so if the logic is high that is 1 then we'll switch on the grid else we'll switch off the grid so this is very simple function out there So let's execute it once again. It functions as desired. We can check any variant out there. 